Now, because of atmospheric blurring, it turns out that we cannot measure the parallax angle with the accuracy better than 0 0.002 arcsecs. Okay, so what does this mean? That means that for parallax angle of say that is 0 0.02, the, the error is 10%, right? Because this margin of error is um, one tenth of the parallax angle, right? 10%. And that's sort of the maximum that can be tolerated. Uh, uh, this accuracy kind of is it's pushing it. So what does this mean? Well, um, what distance corresponds to a parallax angle of uh, uh, 0.2 uh, seconds of arc? Physical quantities should always have units. So what distance uh, in, in parsecs corresponds to this parallax angle of 0.02 seconds of arc? If I multiply this by 3.3, .3, I get about 160 light years, is the cutoff distance for uh, the parallax angle measurements from the ground. Okay? So from ground-based observatories, we can measure uh, the distances with sufficient accuracy to the stars that are not more distant than 160 light years. And to measure with the reasonable accuracy the distances of more distant stars, then we would have to uh, use telescopes mounted in satellites. And indeed, that was done in 1989. There was a, a, a satellite named Hipparchus for high precision uh, parallax collecting satellite. Uh, it collected uh, the data uh, that uh, were 20 times more accurate than those uh, uh, obtained from the ground observatories, observatories for 120,000 stars. From the ground, uh, the distances were measured to about 10,000 stars with uh, reasonable accuracy. 